Greetings and welcome to part 7 of my tutorial series on how to program the Kurzweil PC3. Now, part 6 we did a short introduction to FM synthesis, what FM synthesis is, and uh, I demonstrated one way to do it on the PC3. Now, one, one, one thing to generally know about the Kurzweil PC3 is that there are lots of different ways to do the same thing. So, for instance, you can create an FM operator um, in all sorts of different ways. Um, and I'm going to show you another way that you can do it today as, as part of what I'm going to cover. So I'd like to talk about some strategies for approaching FM programming on, on the PC3. There, there are a couple of different styles, I'll say, of ways that you could do this. Um, one style, we'll say, is, is, is a very compact, trying to conserve as much polyphony as pos possible sort of way to do it, where you use the saw plus shaper block a lot and you can usually squeeze two operators into a single layer. The other way, another way you can do it, is how I'm going to do it today, which is one layer per operator, and then you have different kinds of layers that allow you to mix operators and, and to mix signals uh, so that you can recreate all of the algorithms um, that you know on, on FM synthesizers without having to do anything other than import layers into a new program. Okay, now that might sound a little confusing, but hopefully um, I can lay it out for you in such a way that, that, that it makes sense and, and you'll see what we're, going, what we're doing. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what an algorithm is. Uh, I don't think I've covered that yet. So here I have the uh, algorithm list for the TX81Z. Okay, the TX81Z was a four operator FM synthesizer. Each of these little white uh, boxes here as an operator, and you read the diagram from top to bottom. Uh, so for instance, operator number two has two, um, or I'm sorry, algorithm number two has two operators at the top mixed into one and then into another one. Uh, this one, oper um, algorithm number seven, has one operator coming into another, and then these two are standalone. Okay, so, so what we want to be able to do on the PC3 is we want to be able to rapidly construct these algorithms from parts. And in order to do that, we need to create those parts. <clears throat> now let me show you uh, another diagram that I've drawn. This is a breakdown, essentially, of all the parts that you need in order to simulate, uh, or in order to emulate all of the, uh, the different algorithms that you find in, 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 in just about every FM synthesizer. So first thing we need is a single operator that can accept an input, but it doesn't necessarily have to have a signal coming in at the input. We need um, two versions of a parallel operator. So this bottom line here is the signal would go through the operator. This top line is just a pass through from a previous layer. Okay, and, and then what I have over here is an operator that does not accept any input. It's just, it's, it's, basically the start of, um, of a signal chain. Okay, but it includes this line which can come from someplace else uh, in, in your program. Okay, and then finally down here we have a mixer going into an operator and just a plain mixer that doesn't have an operator in the uh, signal path. If we create programs that contain these five parts, we can essentially uh, import layers from these programs and recreate all the algorithms that you can find and, and create algorithms that you can't find on any other FM synthesizer. Okay, so let's talk about how to create this. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with my default program. I'm going to hit edit. Okay, I'm going to get none for the key map. I'm going to go to the uh, amp -enf page and pick user. Okay, I'm going to go to the DSP control page here and turn down velocity tracking. Now let's go to the ALG page. Okay, so I'm going to focus first of all on creating a program that implements all 32 harmonics for this style, or for, for this kind of um, part, we'll call it, that we're going to use in constructing um, um, F, uh, FM sounds. So, in order to do this, I need an algorithm that accepts an input. So I'm going to pick 102. Okay. Now, to create an operator, I need at least a saw plus block. 
or I need at least a saw plus shape block, basically. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split those apart into two. I'm going to have saw plus as one block, and I'm going to have shaper as another block. Okay, so this is, oh, and then let me finally add here a gain block. This is an operator, okay? It's equivalent in um, many ways to the operator that I constructed in the last video I did about FM synthesis. Although it looks different, it basically, uh, once we set it up right, it, it basically sounds the same. So let's set it up right now. Let's go ahead and set this to one. Okay, so with shape amount at one, you hear a sine wave. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back now to the AUG page. All right, so, so this will accept an input, but I don't have anything coming into it right now. So because of that, all you hear is the sine wave. <clears throat> now, I, I mentioned in a previous, my previous video on FM programming that the, the Yamaha series synthesizers gave you 32 partials to work with, and that was basically your rough tuning. Well, it just so happens that a program in the PC3 can have 32 layers. So I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to duplicate it 32 times. I'm not going to do that all that on this video, but I'll show you one, a couple of duplications so you can see what, where we're going with this. And then I'm going to tune each of those layers to one of the 32 harmonics. Okay. What would this will allow me to do is this will allow me to do uh, what's called importing. So I can import layers from other programs on the PC3. So if I create, so I have my layout, my mixing layout here of, you know, I take an input and it goes through and then it goes to output. And I can duplicate this 32 times once for each harmonic. Then I can basically say, well, I want this kind of a signal path with the fourth harmonic or with the 26th harmonic or, or what have you. Okay, so let's focus then on, let's go ahead and do the first three harmonics. So one is at zero, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pick zero ST as our reference point. Now, all of these pitches in the harmonic series are relative, okay? So they're relative to whatever you want them to be relative to. I'm going to pick zero ST as my starting point. So that'll make the math a lot easier, and, and it, it just makes more sense generally to do it that way. Okay, so this is my first harmonic. So let's make the second harmonic. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit dupe layer. Okay, so now I have a second layer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to raise the pitch now 12 steps, and this is going to be my second harmonic. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to raise the pitch now to 19 steps. Now, I want you to notice here, the actual value for this harmonic is 1900 cents above your reference tone plus 1.955 cents. I'm going to show you now how to do this 1.955. We're actually going to do 1.96 as the value, but that's close enough for, for uh, pretty much every purpose. Okay, so uh, first of all, we've done our course tuning here to 19 steps. Okay, now we're going to do fine tuning, okay, and we're going to set that to one set. So the value here is 1.955. So the way I'm going to program this is this is going to be the, the, the gross tuning. This is going to be the sense basically before the decimal place. And now a new trick. I'm going to go to the DSP mod page, okay, I'm going to set function 1 as my source and I'm going to set its depth to 1 cent. And this is going to represent the decimal place, okay, which makes this now fairly easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and pick A plus B as my function. Now I want this value to ultimately be 1.96, so I need to add 0.96 cents to what I already have. And I can do that by setting input A to 0.96, like this. And there we go. We have our third harmonic, which is accurate up to two decimal places. So it's 1,900 cents plus 1.96 cents. Um, and this is one of the beautiful things about the PC3 is you can, you can tune with extreme accuracy. Um, 
and and we could go even further if we want. I think you can go out to at least three decimal places. So if I wanted to do 1.955, I'm pretty sure I could do 1.955. Um, but you know, for for our purposes, I'm not going to go that far. Okay, we have a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the next layer up. Um, I'm going to go down to here and hit dupe layer because this layer, um, this is this will be the fourth harmonic, and the fourth harmonic. Um, let's see here, that's what I want, is just 2400 cents or 24 steps above the fundamental. Okay, and finally let's do the fifth harmonic just for illustrative purposes. So I'm going to go back down to layer three because that's pretty close to what I want. I'm going to hit dupe layer. Okay, now just like we did with layer three, layer five we're going to do a very similar thing, only with layer 5, it's 2800 cents minus 13.69 cents. So it's a little bit different. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go up to 2800 cents. Okay, we're going to scroll down to minus 13. All right, and then if we go to the fun page, uh, let's see here, let's go, actually let me go to the DSP mod page. I want you to notice something. If I have Funland highlighted and I hit edit, it'll jump right to the fun page. Okay, that's a little trick. Um, oh, uh, actually, let me go back to the DSP mod page. Instead of one cent, I want this to be minus one cent because this has to be minus 13.69. So uh, now let's go back to the fun page. We'll hit edit and we're going to scroll this back to 0 0.68. Now, what we really want is 0 0.69. So um, and if you notice, the values are jumping by two here. So six eight six six seven zero. Oh. So I want six eight plus. I'm using the function a plus b here, zero point zero one. So that will get me exactly minus thirteen point six nine. And there's my fifth harmonic. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the cooking show trick again, and I'm going to exit out of here and hit no. And I'm going to show you. A program that I've already made that has all 32 harmonics in it. Okay, so this has 32 layers. You can see one of 32. Okay, if we go to the DSP mod page here uh, and, and I hit Chan layer up, you can see as we scroll through here, if you watch this saw plus pitch value, it's going up. If we go to the DSP control page, you can watch the fine tuning over here that it changes. And so I've created this program that has these 32 layers in it. Now, I don't ever really play this program. Uh, let me hit the key so you can hear what it sounds like. It's a very, very buzzy sound, even more so than, like, say, a sawtooth wave. Because this is all partials at exactly the same uh, 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 decibel level. Okay, so, so that's, that's that program. Let me show you some of the others that I created. Okay, so this is FM Parts Parallel Start. Okay, now remember how I showed you the page of operators here. Okay, that will be this one of, of, of operator parts, excuse, or algorithm parts, excuse me. Okay, so let's go to the alg page. See, this takes an input, but that input doesn't go through any of the DSP in the layer. It just, um, it gets added in parallel. Now, just like in, uh, in the, the, the program I just showed you, I have all 32 harmonics already programmed in here. So... Again, we have that very, very sharp sound. So let's go out here. Now this is a parallel continue, okay? So that is this block right here, okay? And again, if we go to the algorithm page, you'll see what this is. So this one um, is a little different because this chain here can accept an input. So I can uh, input a signal into here that's going to uh, that will get modified by the DSP and I can input a signal that's not going to get modified by the DSP okay in order to use that I need to start with P start and then the following block can either be P continue or P mix or parts mix excuse me and I'll show you what this one looks like so we go to the alg page and here we have X fade as our mixer and we mix together the two signals that are coming in into an operator. Okay, if I were to go in here and I set this to none, 
okay, and I set this to none, where's none, there it is, then I have exactly this. That's why I don't have it programmed, because it doesn't matter what the partials are for this, right, because there's no DSP besides the mixer. And so I can implement this block without having to, to do another program. Okay, so that concludes this part of my, um, th this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to use these uh, programs to quickly construct a four operator program um, that's going to emulate uh, a very famous TX81Z patch. Okay, and, and I'll tell you all about that when we get there. So thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.